I'm Chaz, and we're at Fusion, and this is awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm reviewing The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. Um, and here we go. The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan tells the story of eight Chinese American women, four mothers, and four daughters. The stories are about immigration, cultural differences, and family values. In this review, I will focus on the flow of the book. Tan's writing style, and the book's ending. The three aspects I consider to be the most important in a well-written novel. The way the book is set up um, with the chapters, it goes mothers, daughters, daughters, mothers. It can be difficult, or it was for me, to remember what happened in that character's last chapter, so it helps to go back. Each character has two chapters, except for Junwoo, who has four because um, her mom's dead, so she kind of makes up for that. So because there's seven characters with each their own point of view and way of thinking, it really helps to get a greater understanding of like the different events and the different characters and the Chinese culture and the American culture and so you get a really a different um, view from the Chinese mothers and the Chinese American daughters um, so the seven main characters really help getting a round story Amy Tan, being Chinese, had a lot of insight into the Chinese culture, which really added to the writing and the flow and really realistic content of the Joy Luck Club. One thing she did was, with the Chinese immigrant uh, characters, they had choppy English when they spoke in English, and most and a lot of the time they spoke in Chinese, and which was noted in the narration. And one example was uh, when one character, Waverly Zhang, gets mad at her mom for being, like, a mom. <laughs> um, and stressing her out about winning in chess and showing her off like a trophy. She decides to run away and then she comes back later that night and her mom's like, you know what, screw this. And her mom says... We're, we not concerning this girl, this girl not have concerning for us. Choppy and difficult to say. Um, but still understandable. Tan also uses awesome Chinese words that are italicized, and one that I picked up and really like is aya, which is an exclamation in, often used in frustration, and it's funny. And yeah, cool. So, I don't know about you guys, but I hate when a book or a movie, if it's like the only mo book or movie, if it's in a series, it's fine. But if it, if like a single book or movie leaves me hanging, it sucks. So, I'm very glad that when I read Joy Luck Club, it didn't do that. It was a nice ending. It was a very complete ending. Um, it was, it was real life though. It wasn't like, yay, we lived happily ever after. It was, no, this is what happened. It's, it's kind of like, yeah, you accept the ending. Yeah. The transformation of Jun Wu throughout the book highlighted the importance of culture and family that the daughters have mostly ignored. It was really nice to see Tan include that transformation. And now it's time to give it a review. So I'm more of a science fiction fantasy reader, but I had to do this book for English, but I picked it out anyway, so yeah. Um, and I gave Joy Luck Club an 8 out of 10, just because it's a different genre than I normally read, so it was it's very good. When I was reading the book, it was sometimes really hard to put down, but we were only supposed to read a certain amounts. So it was like, dang it, I want to find out what happens next, man. Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, and it was really cool to see the 
differences between like the American culture and the Chinese culture, I think it's very important for people to learn about cultures different than their own and really broaden their mind. So books like this are really important for people to read. Cool. Bye-bye.